All right, so here's a quick rundown of what I got in my boxes and stuff uh, in the Harbor Freight cart. Got all my hand tools over here, screwdrivers and picks and whatnot. Same with over here. Uh, I've got a big half inch drive ratchet breaker bar and then um, just one pry bar. It's kind of one of the only few complaints I have with this is that this upper portion is not deep enough to put a pry bar in and I'll show you what I mean. If I take like a normal size pry bar like this guy drop it in there now the handle sticks up too far the top of the box shuts but I can't actually latch it and if I put an even bigger pry bar in there like that guy you know that's really going to keep the uh, the lid from shutting so got almost all my sockets up here uh, none of my three quarter inch drive stuff and uh, well so for these two but I don't have a case for them and my Allen's didn't fit either so my Allen's are down here in this case along with just some miscellaneous stuff lights some spare wiring shop tools my battery tester stuff like that um, here got all my ratchets and even fit with that 18 inch I think handle uh, half inch drive and some just random electrical crap and stuff most of my extensions got the long guys on the side so there's hammers and pliers also got a little bit of room left in this drawer uh, here's almost all my wrenches up to inch and a quarter standard and up to 30 millimeter metric you got uh, stubbies and stuff too and ratcheting Here's almost all my power tools, uh, with the exception of one drill uh, uh, that I have in the other box. And then I keep my chargers just over here on the floor next to this box since it's got a power strip down there. Now this box, uh, I got this guy at Lowe's. Um, it's a cobalt 53 inch top and bottom. It's discontinued at this point, so you can't get it anymore. In fact, I think almost all the cobalt boxes have been discontinued and they're replaced with Craftsman boxes that I feel aren't as nice because um, like these side walls are a lot thinner, uh, the drawers don't have as much depth to them and the bigger drawers are not double hinged or double hung, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, see here's my last drill. Uh, junk drawer, because you got to have junk drawer for just random crap. boxes all just kind of random I have mostly large things in here and things in molded cases that just won't fit in the cart so like you know there's a spark plug socket set um, diesel fuel injector wrench set pipe taps cooler extractors um, tap and die set that's an empty box I need to throw it out Oh, I got the real big stuff in here, you know, torque wrenches, three-quarter inch drive ratchet, sockets over here, some more stuff in cases, the big pry bar, the big wrenches, a two-inch. I'll show you what I mean about the double hung, like this drawer is double hung, it's got two sets of sliders on it, a lot of the cheaper boxes don't have that, it's a very nice feature, this is like some bigger wrenches and then also some just doubles and spares and whatnot. And, oh, these things are super cool. Uh, they're expensive as crap, but if you can afford them, I say get them, because they're like a combination of like a uh, crescent wrench and vice grips. Because uh, you can lock them, and then the tighter you squeeze, the tighter you grab the bolt. So they're great for doing like alignments and stuff, or just wrenching on any big stuff. There's a Chevy GMT 800 uh, alignment tool. Uh, compression tester, fuel tester, and just these are all the socket rails I used to have before I got the tool grid. 
uh, more stuff in cases, you know, that's for uh, fan clutches, you can put it in your uh, air hammer, bearing splitter, oh, and then you got some big stuff down here, some coolers, ball joint press and adapters, uh, charge air cooler leak testing kit, some other stuff, uh, really nothing in that drawer at the moment. This is where I keep all my electrical stuff. Uh, my little scan tool, meter, power probe, test light, spare. Oh, like these guys. Um, and I keep like a lot of stuff like this. Like when I change out a sensor, I'll just snip the, uh, the pigtail off and keep the connector in the pigtail because you never know. Like when, so you could take it and do something like this jump now you have a way to jump that circuit if you need to test something on there you could even stick a fuse in there if you wanted to make it safer but who does that uh this is all random stuff got my riot mask down here you know uh just i really need to go through this drawer and clean a lot of stuff out because there's a lot of junk in there a lot of spare spare parts and stuff um cd player super nice with aux cable so can annoy everybody with my tunes all night you know and I keep you know magnet trays and stuff on the side my uh obligatory big chungus on the box uh, and that pretty much does it I, I need to clean the top out but I have mostly everything I use on a daily basis in this box and for a $200 box I really can't complain uh, I have the little glove holder and I got the tray the tray is like an extra 20 bucks but just the amount of stuff that you can fit on this tray is really surprised or on this cart is really surprising like when I worked the second job last year at the other shop I had my red cart that's identical to this up there, and I had a cram full of stuff, uh, and it worked. It wasn't ideal, but it worked. It's better than uh, going into debt for ten grand on a freaking snap-on box or whatever. But I really don't have any complaints. It's just aside from I wish this was just a little bit deeper so that I could fit big pry bars in here and shut the lid, and you know the paint chips easily, like you can see there. You know just from normal wear and tear but again i move around a lot i don't have an assigned bay here or anything so i'm working in a different spot every day but uh that's pretty much it